friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a new project. So I finished the Sweet Rose Journal. It is on the way to my friend Evie. She was the, the winner of the journal. And so I am free. <laughs> I haven't started a new uh, regular size journal yet. I am uh, starting the... Uh, by the time you see this, you will have already seen part one of the Cottage Garden mini journal, the one that we're making in the little Altoid tin. And so that's really all I have going on. I have some other things in the works, but I have been watching Ruby and Pearl, Heather over at Ruby and Pearl. Oh my goodness. Her stuff is fantastic, completely different style than me, completely different out of the box thinking, but really, really precious, sweet. I've purchased some of her digitals, um, her memoirs, her invoices, um, a bunch of stuff out there. I will be sure to link everything that I can in the uh, over on the supply list over on my blog, and a link to the blog can be found in the description box. So today we're gonna make a tag book. So I've watched this video several times on her channel where you basically have three bases. You have a large base that's your center and then you have a smaller one um, on this side of the big one and then a smaller one on the other side. So she used, uh, what do they call those, cabinet cards. I don't have any cabinet cards. Uh, I might have some larger ones, but I don't have any of the small ones. I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for those because I think they would be amazing in junk journaling. So that's what we're gonna do. So instead of that, I just pulled some chipboard. It's the chipboard that I use to make my journal, so it's fairly thick. I would imagine about the thickness of a cabinet card. So that's what I'm going to do. I've already prepared and pre-tore everything here and I have all my supplies out that we're going to be using. So um, we're going to be using some twine. I'm following her tutorial exactly because I've never done this before and um, the next time I do a project I want to do it more intuitively because I want to kind of see, I want to try on the style uh, in real time and see if I really like it. I really really enjoyed spending the afternoon um, making some tags so she pre-made the tags that are going to go in her journal so I made some tags as well in her style. I did not sew around anything and I can't remember what she used for her base but I'm using a cream uh, card stock that's an eight by eight and a half by eleven card stock that is I believe 65 pounds so it's a really great thickness so we've got that one this cute little beauty I think this image is from my porch prints and uh, I just did some distressing a little bit and folded up that edge just to make it look neat and then I like this back because I want to be able to to have uh, journaling on the back and then we made this one. This is not a tag, it's just like a journal card, but I like it. It actually goes like that, I believe. And then we made this, I made this one, and I just did this this afternoon. And these are all pieces from her kits. And again, I'll link those in the supply list. And then I love this one. I think this is going to be my main large tag. I may put some bling on the top of that now that I'm looking at it after the fact. I might find pull a little bit of bling and then we've got this smaller one I love this one and I may be adding some gold so I've got my iridescent gold fine uh, golden fluid acrylic to um, maybe add a little bit of gold accents and then this one as well so uh, definitely oh I forgot to ink this let me do that really quick while we're chat or while we're chatting so I've already again as I mentioned I already cut all of their or tore basically all of the papers that are going to cover my pseudo cabinet cards, <laughs> my bases basically. And what I really love about watching her uh, create is that it looks like it's very relaxing to just sit there and tear paper. So I did that this afternoon and I loved the process. I absolutely loved the process because it's just very um, quiet, it's peaceful, and we all love the sound of paper tearing, don't we? And we love the looks of it as junk journalers. So 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to um, just uh, play the music while I put all my papers on the uh, boards that I have here. I'll show you the bits here in a second. Oh, I forgot these two. This is also, these also are from my porch prints. I just loved the images, so I thought I would just make these little cards out of them to add to that because the idea of the tag book is that you create the bases and they fold into each other and the tags get put in um, they just get basically paper clipped in and, and sandwiched in between those layers and while we're talking about that I have to show you um, I did uh, do some rusty uh, my husband brought in a, a little container of rusty paper clips and they weren't quite as rusty as I wanted them to be, so I did rust them a little bit more. And I've got this chain as well that I thought would be fun to use. And then, uh, because, and then a, a little um, paper clip, or, oh goodness, safety pin. Um, but his, his that were already aged and naturally rusty uh, worked out better. I did have to use some alcohol ink on some of mine because I think that they were not metal, and so they wouldn't, they wouldn't rust. It was just really, really not working. So, and this is an angel. He said he found it outside in the property, and uh, it's hard to see because it's very, very dark. Uh, because I did stick it in the solution, and I'm not really fond of this image. Or I mean, this this form because yeah, you know, it's I'd have to put something over that. <laughs> but um, so we're going to use some of the rest, rusty paper clips to hold some of our stuff in. So. Uh, so basically, again, I have put everything, I've paper clipped everything together per tag, and then um, I'll, I'll kind of speed through that, and I will set that to music, and then when we come back, we'll start assembling it. We're just going to be using basic supplies. I'm going to be using this, um, this uh, doodad. I'm not going to be do putting an eyelid in. She didn't put an eyelid in. You definitely could. I cannot put eyelet through this chipboard. I did it on the Sweet Rose Journal, and it it was not a good scene. I it didn't didn't go through all the way. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm not going to do that. And then she just attached hers with some twine, and so we'll be doing that together because I did not make a prototype. So some of this is going to be kind of learn as you go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the music on, guys, and let you watch. Oh, first, let me go ahead and do this. I will also be uh, putting a little bit of gold around these and setting them aside so they have a chance to dry. So again, I'll just turn the music on. You don't need to um, necessarily hear me yakety yakin about that. So here we go. So before I move on to the other, uh, the adhering, the papers, I just want to talk with you a quick second. Um, I think I'm going to do a video on how um, I made those. I, again, I got the idea from Heather over at Ruby and Pearl, but it's just, again, it's, it's sort of like the paper tearing. It's just a really peaceful process, and it was really fun to just kind of collage using uh, mostly uh, vintage wallpapers and some French ephemera. And uh, I love my French stuff, so it was really fun. So I think I'll do a video where we just uh, where we just do that, and you guys can um, craft with me. It won't be a tutorial because I don't need to teach you how to do that, but I thought it would be fun to do together. So uh, you can let me know if you'd be interested in that as well. And I love gold, so if you've watched my my videos at all, I'm a big fan of the gold accents. Not overdone but just it it just has this look of I don't know it just it's just 
a good finishing touch, I guess. So I'm going to just clean up this paint and then I'm going to start adhering those papers and then I will um, enjoy them. You guys enjoy the music. <laughs> I won't be enjoying it because I'm going to be creating and I will be adding it later.
Okay, we are getting to the end of this part. Uh, I don't think that a Heather over at Ruby and Pearl does a lot of inking, at least not in the things that I've seen. It doesn't mean that she doesn't. Uh, I've watched a lot of her stuff though. It's kind of been my go-to lately when I'm just vegging out. Um, she has a very peaceful, calm voice, easy to listen to, and that always makes it nice if you want to really kind of binge watch somebody, especially if you love their content. But I don't think she does a lot of inking, so this is definitely more my style. Um, I may try it sometime without doing all this inking just to see if I like it, but I love the aging of this uh, paper by you kind of crease it and then ink it and you get that kind of get that same oh I think I want that up there I was going to do it the other way but I think I like it that way uh, I create I I got all this prepped earlier today and then I have been doing a bunch of other stuff so uh, sometimes I forget what I had in mind even, you know even though I paper, paper clipped everything together doesn't mean that I remember the exact order that it was all supposed to go in so oh I like that I love that. And I just thought this flower would be just so sweet right there. Just a little bit different. And then we will get ready to talk about how we put this together. And again, no prototype. I didn't do this firsthand. I'm just trusting that I'll be able to remember what Heather did and hopefully get somewhat of the same result even close to the same result would be wonderful. So this is not my favorite one, um, but that's okay. They don't have to be. They're, those aren't gonna show very much, uh, the bases, because there's gonna be um, tags and things that are gonna be sitting on top of it and pinned in and or paper clipped in and stuff like that. So if I remember correctly, what she did is she took her base, which is the middle piece, the bigger piece, and it's going to go there and then we're going to decide what we want to have be the front and I think I definitely want this one to be the front um, you know and I don't normally leave stuff like this you guys so I'm really trying to just be a little bit messier I love this um, but it's different so but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it so that means that when we close it it's gonna go or when we close it it's gonna be like that so this this is the direction it needs to be. Same with this, we need to decide, oh, I love that, but I don't know if that's too much green there. So, oh, it's gonna go like that. So, let's see, yep, I think we want it to do this. Or maybe, yeah, like that. It's my first one, I'm gonna be okay with it. So basically then what she did is she decided, or the encouragement was decide where you want your where do you want these to be positioned? Do you want them to go like that and be uneven? I think I do. I think I'll have this one be just slightly up from the bottom and this one like so, if you guys can see that. And so then basically what you do, just keep everything in position so you don't, you don't lose track. But I'm gonna start with this. So I'm basically gonna take this and I'm going to put it back to back. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through all of this with my punch though at all. So what are we going to do? How are we going to get those lined up? Um, well, let's try it and see. I don't think it's going to go through all that. And I'm feeling like I might want the larger punt, the larger hole. She used the small one. And if that's the case, I might go ahead and just use my hand punch. Let me just grab it here if I can find it. It's not in the drawer. Hmm. Is a mystery um, or we may just have to mark these so let's do that let's back up here so that's the back this is going to go did we want that on the front yeah I like that better I don't know if that's what I decided before but I like that so I think what we're going to do instead is I'm just going to use my pencil and mark the holes and then we'll have to punch them separately so we wanted that one to go like that and that one to go like that I want this one lower so I'm gonna have this one to go almost to the bottom uh, right here is what I'm looking at and so you basically just want to make a hole uh, like here and then here 
and then um, let's say about here and here so and the reason why I have my having to do this is because I think my chipboard might be heavier than um, than the uh, cabinet cards but I'm not sure so let's see oh that wasn't too bad probably overthinking that let's see if I can get out of there I can't see get out of there there we go <laughs> Um, and let's just punch this one as well. So I'm just lining it up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see my pencil mark in there. So that's that. And then we're going to punch these ones. I hope I have them far enough away from the edge. Should be all right. There. And there. Oh, come on, get out of there. It's got, it's stuck in there. I like to be able to see that hole. So let's see what can we can do. What can we do? There we go. Uh, there we go. You could certainly do the larger holes if you wanted to. But I like that. So that's that. So those look pretty darn lined up. So let's go ahead and tie these ones off. Just kind of tie as we go. So I don't remember a lot about this step, unfortunately. Um, so let's see what we need to do because can't quite, I think she just tied it like, tied it off to the side, maybe tied it in a bow. I can't remember. Um, but what she did do is she tied it loosely so that in case she needed to um, loosen it, she would be able to do that because you need to be able to have the, the binding which is what this is here loose enough so that when you put all your stuff in you've got enough room so I think I'm gonna leave about that much just that's way more than I need but I play it safe so we're gonna do the same with this one I think I want to tie mine in a in a bow I don't think she did a bow but um, and I've got new nails. You know, they look really weird when they do the French tip for the first time because um, they make these really, really deep, but then I don't have to get them filled. But I've been struggling with gel manicures and struggling with my own nails, and I used to get acrylics all the time. I can do anything with these things as far as my art. Mixed media, get messy, and everything just comes right off of them. So I'm like, I'm just going to go back and do that. <laughs> I spend so much time at the salon getting nails fixed, and it's just frustrating. So let's just go ahead and if we tie this in a bow right now, it's going to be totally uh, able to be adjusted. So I'm just going to tie it loosely uh, about right there just to be safe. It's probably way too much space, but we will find out as we keep going. It's hard to do this on camera, you guys. So that's that and that is that. Not way too much I'm pretty sure there too much of a gap but we can always go back and fix it so and I think that her twine was a little bit thicker but this is what I have so that's what we're using so basically what I'm talking about there is you do you want a little bit of room there see that one's looser than the bottom one so that's not going to really work but um, we will uh, see how that goes um, yeah that's yeah but I'm not going to adjust it right now because it's not neat necessary. So then we're going to do the same over here. Um, but this time I want it to come up higher. And which one did I want to have on the outside? <laughs> yeah, I want that on the inside. So I want this one on the outside. It's not going to be the cover though. The front. It's going to be like this. So shall we go up a little bit? Yeah, let's just do that. So I'm going to go up to here. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make marks. So we do want it to be in line with our other, our other bits so that it's not, everything doesn't look kind of cattywampus. So I'm just going to use my ruler here and see if I can get that moderately straight. So here and here. And we're going to come down here and do the same. 
just using the ruler so that I don't get this so it's not like that basically you know what I mean make one here and here you can punch those holes this is going swimmingly love this I will definitely be doing more of these they're very very fun get out of there <laughs> Okay, so I'm just again I'm just finding my pencil my pencil mark there and just punching there and they should not they should not come apart right because it's it's pretty stiff uh, chipboard so it's not gonna like tear that or anything which would be my main concern um, using kind of a um, not using an eyelet oh my goodness <laughs> There we go. Okay. Hopefully that's not too far in. Not a very steady hand, care Renee. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and do the same. We're gonna get our twine. And I'm just gonna get a length of it. Oh, I had way too much before, but that's okay. And let's just cut it in half. And so we want to do this, that we can tie it off in a bow on the, on the edge. There we go. It's probably an easier way to do it anyway, and, and especially when we tighten this because you can kind of stand it up and get a little bit better gauge on what you're doing. Not very good at tying on camera. There we go. And then one more piece. I like the daintiness of this twine though. I like that it's not super thick and heavy. I tried to pull it and tear it and it doesn't tear so I think we should be good. Well, thumbs. So anyway, what I was saying is I'm getting used to having nails in the way because when I had my real nails and just had gel manicures, I um, kept them pretty short because they just would break and break and break. They just would not hold up to all of the washing and all of the uh, all of the mediums that I use in my mixed media stuff. So I'm loving them. Very, very happy with it. Oh my goodness, Kara Renee. There we go. That's way loose, but let's just see. <laughs> it's the off it's the opposite. Look at that. <laughs> this one's way too big. Let me tighten this. I'm gonna kinda go off the edge of the table here where you guys probably can't see. Uh, probably what I'll do is uh, I'm just gonna leave it now because when I get to do the final adjustment I'll just tie it in a knot and then I won't have to fuss with it so now what you do is you get all of your beautiful tags over here and decide where you want them and I did make sure that I reserved a tall tag to go in here so I do want to get a piece of bling so let me grab that really quick guys I think I'm gonna get a gold one because I love this I love these gold little circles and I think that would be really pretty on top. I don't trust the adhesive so I'm going to go ahead and stick a little bit of Fabri-Tac right there and then just set that in there. Bling is always a good thing isn't it? There we go so I want that one to be there and then let's see what we want to have be on the front. We'll probably could put a couple on the front and then in here, there's going to be one here. That's too samey samey. That's exact same paper. I didn't even realize that. That's not going to work. Maybe we'll put this one over here. And I feel, oh, there they are. I'm like, I don't have as many as I had before. I didn't grab them all. Silly, silly lady. So that's that. And then what do we want to have on the front? Really love this little baby. She needs to be on the front, I think. 
and I like this one as well and it's a little bit bigger so I think that it would go good here so what you do basically is you're gonna use a paper clip to hold these in place so I'm gonna grab a paper clip here a rusty paper clip I love that I did um, I don't remember if I said it at the beginning but mine didn't some of mine didn't work so I just used some alcohol ink kind of did that shortcut and uh, and love that so I'm just trying to finagle this because it's like it's tricky to get that in there right so I'm just gonna slide that in there and that's gonna be our little paper clip holding that one it's the front and I think I kind of want that to be out a little bit like that so that's the outside front and then here is I think this one over here I love how the colors are gonna be pulling are going to be pulled together here which I think is really um, really pleasing and so what else do we want here I don't want the other girl well I could I guess but I really like this one too but that's it's gonna be better to have a card I think a card and a card like that so now we're going to use another paper clip and I'm going to um, I'm gonna put that here and then we'll just slide this one under here like so isn't that beautiful oh my gosh I love it I love it okay so there we've got that one and we've got um, I love this girl I think she should go here with this one maybe kind of um, clip these together oh, where do they attach though I didn't think about that you know what I think they might be okay to just sit there what do you think I don't know never done this before I think I might be short one too let's just do the big one in the middle because I don't think I'm gonna have enough because we have this over here and I think I would love this one on here and the girl yep uh, so how do we want that to go it's kind of a bummer because when you layer them you do lose the visibility of both pieces but that's okay I'm gonna move this up a little bit a little bit of that rust off there and then we've got this one so we've got a tag here and a card oh that's actually really pretty there so and then this one can go on this side with that paper clip and then right here I think I'm gonna change this out though I don't like this um, this color it don't feel like it goes so I'm gonna trade it out really quick you guys even though it's on here I don't want it to be the the piece that what sticks out on the top I want another piece of this color we are almost done you guys I'm so excited this is so cool. That was exactly one hour that the camera's been running, although for you it won't be that long because I will be I will have sped up the video for all of that gluing and such. So I'm going to what was I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I did put an eyelid in this one because it was such a small little hole, it was hard to get anything through it. So where's my needle? Got a big needle here that I like to use to poke that stuff through. Let's see if that will work. Come on, you can do it. I'm not very good at fiddly stuff, so if you guys have been watching me on the channel, I, can, I tend to get a little bit nervous. So. Come on, there we go. There we go. Hopefully it didn't rip it. Of course you would not, you could go really eclectic and not have these um, bits um, be different, I mean be the same, but this is just me. This one I think I'm going to tie in a bow because I've got an extra length here. Let's see if I like that. so oh yeah that's pretty 
I want that to lay down though. Oh, that's lovely. I like it. Okay. So we'll put that there and we'll put that there. And then these ones came undone. This one came undone because I I, I wonder if I need a bigger one, a bigger paper clip because I'm holding so much together here. Let me grab a large one and see if I feel better. Except it's so big that it's just gonna take over the whole thing. So let me try this. I think that's gonna be all right. I might even, uh, well, I probably won't put anything on those because they'll come off. It'll be hard to keep it on there um, as far as like a tassel -y thing. So we don't have enough here to tie a bow, but that's all right. So there we go. That's our tag book. So it is actually needs to be loosened because what you want is you want to have it lay evenly. So see how this is tied tighter. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just do that off camera, guys. But that's the project. Isn't that absolutely amazing? What a fun, happy mail gift to send or a giveaway. I mean, this is just delightful. It was fun to make. It was so sweet and using beautiful French digitals, which I just love. And so thanks for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.